Hi everyone, in this lecture we will do our first example based on the ARM Cortex M4 processor using trampoline operating system. We will configure one task called Blink and it will take a priority one. The auto start attribute will be false. Be careful if you define the auto start attribute as false. For all task objects in the Artos configuration, the system enter directly into the Artos defined idle state. And the system waits for external events or alarms based on the system counter. Okay, and this is our case. After that, the activation attribute equal one. And as we discussed before, a task can be activated once or multiple times. And the maximum number of activation is defined in the Artos configuration with the attribute activation of the task object. If you try to activate a task which is in suspended mode, the Artus will move the task into the ready state. And if you try to activate a task with it which is not in the suspended mode, and this means the task is or may be in the ready state, waiting or running state, or self-activation, the Artus will do two scenarios depending on the current number of activation you have configured. Okay. The first situation, if the maximum number of activation as specified by the activation attribute has not been reached yet, the Artus queue this activation request for further processing. Okay. The second situation is if the maximum number of activations has been already reached, then the system service return E underscore OS underscore limit as error code. Now the schedule attribute is equal full, and as we discussed before, a task can be scheduled to be a fully preemptive task or a non preemptive task. You must assign a scheduling policy to every task in your Artos configuration by setting the attribute schedule of a task object to be either for or none. Okay. Fully preemptive scheduling means that the running task can be rescheduled at any moment by the occurrence of trigger conditions, okay, preset by the operating system. And the running task enters the ready state as soon as a higher priority task becomes ready. We already discussed the rescheduling points for a fully preemptive scheduling, okay? But if this attribute is equal none, it will be non-preemptive scheduling which means that task switching is only performed via ex uh, explicit defined system services, okay? Now we discussed all the OE configuration for this task. Let's discuss now the OE configuration for the alarm. We configure here an alarm called Blink Blink. We already know from the previous lecture an alarm is a counter-based mechanism to provide services to active tasks set events or call specific routines when the alarm expires, okay? And as we know, the Artus always offers a counter that is uh, derived from a hardware timer and this counter is known as system counter. And the unit of time is the system tick, which is the interval between two consecutive hardware clock intervals, okay? Please check your configuration uh, clock frequency at the STM set to F4 discovery board initialization EBI at the bus of trampoline, okay? In the artist configuration, you must configure the action to be performed when the alarm expires. And this, as we know, this information is permanent, so it is not possible to change the associated action to an alarm at the runtime. Our action here is to activate our task called blank, okay? The next attribute is the auto start, and this alarm is auto started true. As we discussed before, the easiest way to set a cyclic alarm is to make them auto started. Auto started alarms are started using uh, or during the Artus OS call, which you can see at the blink.c file. And auto started alarms can be set on uh, a bare application mode basis. So you can choose in which application modes alarm is auto-started. 
and each auto started alarm must also specify whether it is started at an absolute or relative counter value and the associated increment or start and cycle parameter must be configured okay here our alarm auto started with reference to the standard default application mode okay and here the alarm time and uh, cycle time are one second which is uh, 1000 so after one second the alarm will expire because the system counter tick is one millisecond and every one second the alarm will expire again okay at the middle is our os configuration here you make it extended we enable the pre task hook and the post task hook and the application name which is plink c and our arm gcc compiler here which we installed it previously and so many configuration which you can read it from the manual of the trampoline operating system okay this is our blink project we will open it we have two files blink to c and blink oil here you can see the main function which has initialization for the stm set to board and the start of os function abi okay and we here have our task called blink which have uh, another function called let toggle which toggle the red led after that it terminate uh, uh, here and the plink oil we have here the system uh, cpu configuration and the os os configuration we already illustrated this before okay so to compile our project we will click cmd after that, we will go through our passes, get the goil command, paste, okay, so after generation uh, so after generating all the source files from our configuration, okay, we will build our files, okay. Now we will open the stm cert to stlink utility and click file, open file. And after that, we will go through the blink project, blink exit bin. And after that, we will write program, okay? Start. 